In this presentation, we are going to discuss part 3 of sensitivity of control system. So, let's get started. Till now, we have discussed sensitivity of an open loop system, sensitivity of a closed loop system with respect to forward path gain, and now we are going to discuss sensitivity of a closed loop system with respect to feedback path gain. We already know in a closed loop system, there are two parameters. One is with respect to the forward path gain GS and the other one is with respect to feedback path gain HS. The sensitivity with respect to forward path gain STG is equal to 1 over 1 plus GH. We have derived this expression in the previous lecture. And now we are going to discuss the sensitivity with respect to feedback path gain HS. The sensitivity with respect to feedback path gain STH is defined as percentage change in T with respect to percentage change in H. Percentage change in T can be written as del T over T multiplied with 100 and percentage change in H can be written as del H over H multiplied with 100. And if we solve this, we will get H over T multiplied with del T over del H. And we already know T is the overall transfer function of a closed loop system and it is equal to G over 1 plus GH. So in order to find out the expression of sensitivity of transfer function T with respect to H, firstly, we need to find out del T over del H, which is the derivative of transfer function with respect to H, where the transfer function T is equal to G over 1 plus GH. So we will find out the derivative del T over del H by using U by V rule. So, del T over del H is equal to 1 plus GH, which is the denominator that we are treating as constant, multiplied with derivative of G with respect to H. If we differentiate G with respect to H, then it will be treated as constant and it will be equal to 0, minus G multiplied with derivative of 1 plus GH and derivative of 1 plus GH with respect to H will be equal to G and it is divided by 1 plus GH whole squared, which is the square of denominator. Now, if we solve this, we will get minus G square over 1 plus GH whole squared. So this is the derivative of transfer function T with respect to H. So we can write STH, which is the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to H equal to H over T multiplied with minus G squared over 1 plus GH whole squared. Now we will find out the value of h over t. We already know the transfer function t is equal to g over 1 plus gh. If we take reciprocal on both the sides, then we will have 1 over t equal to 1 plus gh over g. Now if we multiply h on both the sides, then we will have h over t equal to h multiplied with 1 plus gh over g. And this is the value of h over t. We will substitute this value in this equation and we will have h multiplied with 1 plus gh over g multiplied with minus g squared over 1 plus gh whole squared. Now g will be cancelled with this factor and 1 plus gh will be cancelled with one of this factor and we will get the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to h equal to minus gh over 1 plus gh. And this is the expression to find out the sensitivity of a transfer function with respect to feedback path gain hs. This negative sign indicates that if feedback path increases, then the overall transfer function decreases. If this feedback path increases, then the overall transfer function decreases. This is the significance of this negative sign. We will understand this in a better manner with the help of some examples in the upcoming lectures. Now we have both the expressions, the sensitivity with respect to forward path gain STG and the sensitivity with respect to feedback path gain STH. Moving on to some more important points, we can say sensitivity is a ratio of two quantities and that's why it has no unit. It is a unitless quantity and sensitivity of a system is always a real number. It cannot be a complex number. So now we have discussed the sensitivity with respect to forward path gain and with respect to feedback path gain and now we are done with the introduction of sensitivity of control system. We will solve some problems based on sensitivity of control system in the upcoming lectures. And now we are done with this lecture. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this one here. See you in the next lecture.